on this episode of Lapeef Let's Talk. I'm not going to say your point is invalid <laughs> because I feel like it's based off of experiences. But I have to ask, where are these men looking? Because I do feel like they like to look in the wrong places. And that may be why they're getting the results that they're getting. But I feel like there are a lot of women out here that are marriage material, wife material. It just depends on, you know, if, excuse my French, are they going after, you know, the 3D book? How do you determine? How do you determine if a woman is wife material? What does that look how like? How do I? I feel like it's in the way that she carries herself. I feel like it's nope. in the way that she speaks. I feel like nope. it's in the way that she cares for others, nurtures others, supports people that she claims she loves. I feel like it's in the way that she just moves. But that's not what men are saying. They're, they're nope. not wanting to marry that. It's like what Rilla said. He gave you what a wife is. The problem is we're not listening. We're saying, well, you should like the way that I walk and talk. They don't care. But I feel like any woman, it's it's our nature to want to be those things. But it's a matter mm -hmm. of is a man giving us the space to be able to be that for him. And that you goes part, back to you partially correct, but I'm gonna that goes back to the structure that chapter twelve of my new book that I got coming out. Chapter I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna address it in chapter twelve. You partially <laughs> partially correct, but I'm gonna address it in chapter twelve. We're gonna fix this. Our first topic of the night is here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. You are not married. You are not married. Women typically hate to hear, oh, you're not married, especially in their mid-30s. Also, you have men on the outside looking in at their friends, watching them marry, travel the world, and continue to build wealth, all while they sit stuck, approaching 40, with nothing to show but four kids and three baby mamas. The first question that I have for you guys is, who raises more concern for not being married, the man or the woman? I'm gonna start with you, Rilla. Let me get off from you, of course. Um, man, it's an interesting uh, question, the way you pose it. And uh, we've been talking about this in the group, actually, right? So, uh, you know, who raises more concern? I think more women are pressed to get married, to be married. I think you have more men, um, you know, in this day and age that not necessarily, they don't necessarily want to be married, right? I mean, you have these movements, the MGTOW, the Save Yourself Black Men, um, and you have a lot of guys that are just focused on what they're doing, and um, they're not interested in getting married. This is what I'm, I think if you remember, like, when I was on the show earlier, I had a way different view, right? And since I've been uh conversing with a lot of different gentlemen um since i've been going down this rabbit hole of the manosphere and just studying and observing and researching man it's a lot of brothers that don't even want to get married uh, what yeah they, they don't and i'll tell you why because they see what's happening with other men with divorces they see what's happening with men uh in family court when it comes to child support they see what's happening with their friends, You're just getting raked over the coal and marriage is not ending well, right? So we don't even have really good representation by and large of what a good marriage looks like uh, in the black community. So that when you have someone like, uh, you know, a, say an Anton has been married for 17 years that comes across, it's like, oh, you, you're a unicorn, right? So if you say like, who bears more responsibility or who raises more concern, I would say women, cause you hear women talking a lot more about wanting to be married but not having a reasonable expectation of what that's going to look like whereas men are more or less like right now they're just kind of like take it or leave it like if they marry cool if they get married they find the right one cool but they they by and large are cool just getting to the bread uh stacking their paper and getting with just you know whatever female <laughs> can satisfy they need for the night So did you answer the question? I don't think you did. I said, yeah, who raises, who raises more, more concern yeah. for not being married? I said women. Okay, women do. Okay. I didn't you know. I heard you not. All right, I'm going to go to you, Courtney. Who raises more concern for not being married, men or women? Yeah, it was the women, of, of course. 
and I can speak from personal experience, many comments I get, why ain't she married? Is she all that she is? Why ain't she married? And it's annoying, but no, women do. And I think marriage is the goal. Um, but I think people kind of get lost in the sauce where it's like, oh, I meet a man, I'm going to marry him in two or three months. I mean, that happens, but it's a vetting process that women go through. And um, especially in our thirties, uh, we have a lot to lose. And so who you marry is important. So it's not just, uh, are you married or not? No, it's important on who you marry. Again, the divorce rate is high. Yes, it's um, predominantly um, filed by women. Um, but as far as with me and definitely having a daughter, I mean, I'm just, I just can't just marry just some man because he wants to marry me. It's important to, um, to know who he is and learn a little bit more about him. Again, I have a daughter, so that's always a concern. So, But it's women. All right. Yanni, who raises more concern for not being married, the man or the woman? It's definitely women. But I feel like we get that pressure earlier on. Um, we're groomed at an early age to want marriage. I do feel like we as women put added pressure onto ourselves and to each other to want marriage and to get married. It makes us feel, I guess, more complete or whole, fulfilled. But I will say that um, you do get a little bit of that from men if they feel like you've reached a certain age or if they feel like you are pretty, I, I get that a lot. Like, Oh, you're too pretty to be single. So you get that a lot. But for the most part, I do feel like it's majority of women and we kind of put that pressure on each other. Okay. Anton, who raises more concern for not being married, the man or the woman? I think men raise more concern. We the ones that's talking about it the most right now, as far as like, I mean, it's clear. It's the whole reason why you got all of these different manosphere and red pill channels that's having a conversation about marriage extensively, right? Women are the ones that want to be married, but men raise the concern. Men are the ones that are concerned about the divorce race. They're concerned about the family court. They're they're concerned about who for the streets, who not, so on and so forth. Women just want to get married and women are naturally hypergamous, but men are the ones that's more or less playing goalkeeper when it comes to determining and having a conversation around whether or not you should or shouldn't get married. Right. It's the whole reason why it's so difficult for me to have conversations with people. And whenever I present my own self as an example as to why marriage is dope or it can level you up, so on and so forth. It's such a, a a controversial topic because it's not controversial if that's introduced amongst women. When it's introduced amongst men, it's controversial. It's something to be debated. It's something to have a conversation about. And it's vetted extensively as to why it makes sense. I never ever, and I coach men and women, I never ever hear women raise any kind of concern when it comes to marriage whatsoever with men i hear so many concerns and it is the biggest lie ever told when you hear people say that men don't want to be married i would say that out of every 100 men that i coach probably three don't raise the conversation up to be marriage aligning themselves with somebody whatever all of that the whole the whole nine yards so it's a myth. Guys may be protected more. It's, it's coming out a little bit more now that we got all of these social media platforms and these conversations are having. But guys protect the their their thoughts a little bit more when it comes to having that conversation amongst women. But it's absolutely guys that are raising the concern more about marriage. It's, it's not even close. I think we maybe are misinterpreting what's being asked. So when I'm saying it's more women being concerned, it's if you're not married by 35 and who, you know, it raises a concern at what's wrong with you. You're so thinking of it like, internally and right. he's thinking yeah, of yeah. it. Exactly. Yeah. So I, think that, I was wondering I, that. And I agree with you, Anton, completely. I think it's a lot of concerns. Men are wondering what your body count is and do you have kids? How old are you? Like, I totally agree. But for me, understanding what's being asked, it's who's more concerned? Who's 35 and take a man and a woman and both aren't married 
who's going to be, you know, more concerned about like what's wrong with you? It's women. So, but but here's the thing also, I will push back a little bit because I think for that perspective that you speak on, Anton, I think that that is a specific demographic. I think there's a specific target audience that shares that view because when you speak to these young yeah, bloods, yeah, man, yeah, men, sure. So when you speak to these young bloods, they're definitely not interested in being married. They out here thought and bopping. Cap. No, they they thought and bopping. So Cap. I'm, I'm, okay. Cap. Again, let like me let I me said, tell you something. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's be clear. Okay. Let's be clear. Guys lie like water coming out of a faucet. They not getting as much pussy as they saying they getting. They not thotting and bopping the way they present they presenting themselves to be. They not getting it like this. It's some guys that's winning, and the majority of them are they the ones that's in the echo chamber that's complaining about women, and that's the reason why red pill channels are so popular. They not winning like they saying they are, and they duh. Have you ever seen? That chick that's walking down the aisle in the grocery store and she looked like a bag of bricks. I mean, she is busted from head to toe, <laughs> but she got more bodies on her than Chris from The Wire, bro. I that's mean, man, dudes is anything. busting that down. It's so many right. dudes busting that down. These dudes is settling for getting pussy. It does not mean it is the thing that they want. Let's talking, be clear. But we're not talking quality, though. I'm saying specifically. Mm -hmm. you I'm telling you. These dudes is lying. They lying. You. And when I press them, I'm telling you, bro, I talk to them every day. And when I press them, I'll be like, come on, fam. Let's be real. Like, okay. Yeah, okay. You, oh. yeah, Anton, you, yeah, I'm going to be real with a little you. Bit more. I can't help so, you. Okay, good. So these gentlemen that you talk to range in what age from, to what age? I coach guys from 18 all the way up until 60. Okay. Literally. So 18 to 60. So 18 to 34 is the median age for media, whatever. So- 18 to 60 cool and their meet and their income is what levels anywhere i just talked to a guy swear to god i just talked to a guy that's probably 52 graduated from yale and he and he's having the same conversations he's doing really well he's making a lot of money and he has the same concerns as that dude that i was talking to that's 18 and trying to figure out how to open up his first bank account they all dealing with the same thing. Yeah, bro. I, I, I mean, listen, I'm not I'm not disputing what you're saying as much. I'm pushing back to the to the degree of what you what I think you're speaking to is a sample size. I don't disagree that there may be men that's out here capping or whatever on they on they dick or whatever. I'm not tripping on that. What I'm saying is, by and large, when you listen to these men talk from young bloods, even when you look at people that are 40 and over, most of those dudes have been married before, and they are. Very reluctant to get. Let, let me let me add let me add context for you. Really, okay. talk to them by themselves when they're willing to be vulnerable, not when they're around their hum homies and they're trying to make themselves look good. It's a different conversation. Dudes be capping, they be lying. They it's it's real, bro. It's a it's a, a pandemic in itself. The amount of cap that goes on in these conversations. With the reason why they complaining so much, you don't see me complaining about women ever. I don't have problems, bro. I never had a problem with women in my life. You don't see a lot of these dudes that's winning. If they winning, they don't have problems with winning. The problem is that the loudest ones in the room are the ones that's the most broken. And so it seems as though there's a lot of guys that's having this, that's having this narrative or it's all guys that's having this narrative, but it's not. It's a lot of guys that are not winning. And so they're having this conversation amongst themselves. But in reality, in reality, there's a lot of guys that's being really quiet, that's winning, and they're the small minority of guys that's winning. But the overwhelming majority of these dudes, they're not winning like you think they are. Okay, not, I agree bro. with that. I, I agree, brother. Then I'm gonna go to Kay and ask her what her thoughts. Go ahead. You want to respond? No, no, no. I was just saying. I, I no. He 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 said what I was actually trying to say was that the people that are winning and you know don't have problem with women, they're in a small minority. So it, it doesn't matter like the reasoning behind the whys. I just said that the, the sample size of what you're speaking to, like, I don't disagree with that. So the onus is on those men who are broken to, to level up. Well, I hate saying that. No, level up. <laughs> Do the work, become the best version of yourself, man. Put the work in. I, I don't disagree with that. But the brothers are out there um, that, you know, are not raising that concern like that because they disappointed and broken. Okay. Okay. Who raises more concern for not being married, the man or the woman? So when I first heard the question, I interpreted it the same way as Anton, but as the answers were coming, like when Courtney and Yanni and 
um, Chicago gave their answers. I was like, wait, okay, so maybe this is a different question. Uh, but I definitely interpret it the same way that Anton did. So my first thought was men raise more concern. Like they're always talking about it, especially with this whole manosphere situation. But in terms of um, who has more pressure on themselves, I would say women for sure. So when I was interpreting it like Anton, I was agreeing. I'm like men. But if we're talking about um, who has more like internal concern or pressure, it's definitely women. <laughs> Don't do it, Jr. <laughs> I'm not gonna do nothing. Do what? <laughs> do what? Just <laughs> Jr. got his hand on a button. I know. <laughs> I just Anton. I feel it. I know <laughs> what you were thinking. I'm just saying, don't do it. <laughs> no, I'm not going. I'm not going to do nothing. I'm not going to do nothing. I mean, that answer was just pretty short, man. I think you was playing. You just trying to be safe tonight. No, I'm not trying to be safe. Okay. Uh, so were you thinking of it more so the way that Anton was answering, or Courtney and everybody else? Because there, those were almost like two different questions and viewpoints. Yeah. What I mean, were you it, thinking when you asked it? Well, I was just thinking about say mid thirties, right? Mm. You got a, you got a man that's single. You got a woman that's single. He's not mm -hmm. single. You know, who's, who's more, who should we be more concerned about? Oh, like who would I be more concerned about yeah. if they're single? Right. Um, <laughs> if I ran across a man and a woman that were both single, I think I would be more concerned about the man only because men are usually the ones that, propose. So like women are looking to get chosen, right? Maybe nobody chose you, but if you're a man and you're 40 or whatever, and you would have not found one woman suitable for marriage, I would be more so wondering about that. Um, I know that women 1, outnumber men. Correct. She is 1000% correct. I know that women outnumber men, but like, if we're thinking about who's doing the choosing, who's doing the proposing, um, who has more options, I guess you could say, um, I would definitely be more concerned about the man because the man could have been married anytime he wanted. Well, the woman is just- we have this whole well, hold on, but let me, let me push back real quick because then when Anton says, and also UK, who has the concerns and men are bringing up concerns as far as with women being marriageable, well, then mm -hmm. it would make sense why they wouldn't be married if they have concerns about being married. So right. you can't have it both ways. You can't say, I'll be concerned- if he's 35 and not married, but men have concerns about getting married. Yeah, that was, I mean, it was two different questions at that point. Like JR, when he um, explained it, I definitely still think that it's men. If it was something like who feels more pressure or who is more concerned for themselves, I would say women. But in terms of like, who would I personally be more concerned about? It would be the men. Because of what I just said. Go ahead, Yanni. I see you want to talk. Go ahead. I want to add this. I think uh, the difference with this conversation is that men have their way of processing how it's concerning to them. And then we have our own way. <laughs> I think it's based off of, you know, the woman's experience when we face the world versus a man's experience when he faces the world. So I feel like our concerns are both valid, but they're just different. And I don't think we could ever be like, oh, well, this is more concerning over this when we speak on the differences between men and women, because I feel like they're both valid when you really sit and think about it. So I think the concerning aspect is who's more concerning. I would have to say it's kind of mutual because getting into a marriage is like, that's a big step, you know, financially, that's a big step when it comes to seeing if families can even come together and not be dysfunctional and cause havoc. Like, will your families get along? I think the concern um, is pretty mutual. It just depends on who you're talking to. Yanni, know. it's funny that you say I, that because that know. was almost going to be my answer. But, you yeah. know, I'm trying to move more towards picking one of the choices. <laughs> Well, I disagree. I don't think women are concerned <laughs> with marriage at all like that. I don't think that we put more into and concerns than men do. Women, what do you mean? Okay. Well, 
preschool, kindergarten, women are wanting to, they play husband and wife with their dolls. Like we're programmed to be married. We're not programmed okay. to be wise. We're not programmed to have concerns of what's going to be important for the how, how your man is going to lead. We're worried about the marriage. So we don't concern about that. Get to my age, you looking at first date like, well, so i don't think we have concerns like men do men sit back and look and be like you know no women we like hmm, maybe yeah you, tonight yeah i kind of uh, think everyone's think answering a different question because i right. get what you're saying i get what yanni's saying i think everybody's answered a different question um <laughs> because all of those things i think it was just interpreted differently by Right. Everyone on the panel. <laughs> yeah, but but here's the thing. Also, okay, when 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 we bring up that the, the men are raising concern, and we talk about men getting into their thirties, and now they're looking at marriage. I mean, one of the messages that we've heard preached across multiple channels and on this channel is that um, you know men should be purposed on. I mean, focused on their purpose. And you don't hit your stride until you're you know in your forties. Right. So these men that are I, I, I got I, I, it's, it's, as we talking about this, I'm thinking about two brothers. I know to me personally that waited until late 30s purpose purposefully because they saw, number one, they, they invested in themselves and they saw, you know, they, they thought about what they wanted to bring to the table um, in order to provide and protect and, and, and be a man for that woman. But they also saw cats getting raked over the cold. You know, they saw my example and was just like, man, I'm going to chill on that. one." I know brothers now that are divorced that are just like, I'm not going back into that ring. And so when I think about who raises more concern to me, it just it it's it, it seems to be more on the women than it is on the men. And I understand both sides of the coin. But so are you thinking like more worried, like, oh, I'm this age and I need to. Not, I don't think men think like that. I don't I think. I mean, is the reason that you said women. Saying, did you say women because you're thinking of it in that world? Well, women being worried. Yeah, yeah. Because women have a biological okay. clock. So what, okay. do men, what do men ultimately want from women? Legacy, right? We won't see, right? So by the time you hit, what, 35, 35 to 40, that's what they call, what, the geriatric pregnancy or that's, you know, whatever, whatever. Like, mm -hmm. and I know I, I got some homegirls that have had kids, you know, late in age or whatever, but it was a hard pregnancy for them. Right. And I don't know no husband that would want to put his wife through that again. So I know we I know we bouncing all around and I, I understand what you're saying. Okay, we answering different questions. But in my opinion, it, it's 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 the women that raises more concern for not being married, especially by the time they hit 35. No way. No way whatsoever. Not even a little bit. Not even close. <laughs> No way, no Wait, way. Wait, well, Anton, you're I'm open going, to the possibility. Going, Anton, explain, wrong. explain, Anton. Explain. But, but you're open to the possibility of being wrong. I am, but I know I'm not wrong. I know I'm not wrong because it doesn't even make sense. Okay, so let's use your your homies for example, right? They supposed to be that way. They're supposed. See, the reason why we say don't focus on women, focus on your purpose, is because you can't even be the man that you're supposed to be for anybody including your family unless you fully get yourself together it's almost like we need to have a new rite of passage everybody got a dick but very few people know how to use it everybody no they don't even understand the responsibility that comes along with the carnage that they leave when they use it improperly just because we born with the tools don't mean that we deserve or we know how to use them properly and so when you when you have that conversation you have to say we're saying be on your purpose don't worry about these girls to what end why are we telling them that? Because we're preparing them to be the leaders of tomorrow. And part of being a leader, especially when we're talking about money and the community and so on and so forth, is the family structure, the way that you breed success and show success, especially when it comes to what it is that we're doing in our community, comes from having a strong family structure. And the structure always starts with the man. Right. We don't want the responsibility, the full responsibility of what it comes, what comes with having a family. You want submission. You want control. You want cooperation. You want the dopest woman. You want her to do this. You want her to do that. But if you got the woman in your dreams, you'd ruin her because you're not prepared to do what it takes in order to make sure that your family structure is in place. So we say that to the end of be prepared for what it takes to be a real man 
when it comes to battle, right? You got to be able to provide provision, protection. You got to be able to nurture your children. You got to be able to be, not only that, you have to be the pillar in your community because if anybody comes along and say, hey, what happened to y'all and why y'all lose your house? They not coming to her, they coming to me. So because I prepared myself and that I was never worried about women and I was on my purpose, right? Now I'm prepared for the thing that I'm working towards, which is to be the person and the pillar in my community, which means that we should be more concerned and focused on building and working on the greatest men possible. Because the issue that we have here is that you only got to get it right once. You don't have to get marriage right a hundred times. You got to get it right one time. That's it. And we focus so much on all of these other things that's outside of what we, we, we should be concerned about. But because I'm so focused on plan A and there is no plan B, I put every single thing I have into making this thing successful. So we should be, and we rightly are so, addressing the correct things when it comes to being concerned with Who's at the top of the pyramid? And the men are the ones that we need to groom because we control yeah. access to marriage and yeah. you only got to get it right one time. And so the context to whatever it is that you're saying always goes to and through the idea that we're preparing ourselves for something greater, which means that's why we say what we say. Anton, I just want to say that oh, I completely God. agree with you. It was on point. On point. <laughs> I, and I, you, but like you brought up something that I thought was really interesting, and actually, in like one of my shows recently, talked about the same thing. You talked about rites of passage. There are no rites of passage that people that we have like as a community in America, and that is a huge problem because people don't even grow up to be um, ready to take on these responsibilities, like you said to be a husband. And we, I mean, I agree with you that men are the head. So if men are the head, then they have to be the ones set in that tone. And if you have not been prepared to set that tone, like, what do you expect to happen? I, don't I, think I mean, saying that. I don't think really saying that we're just talking yeah. about, like JR said, uh, if you look at a man that's 35 and a woman that's 35, People are going to look and be like, what's well, something's wrong with the woman, not the man. We understand men have to be on their purpose and it might take them to be 35 to be ready to be a husband. And that's simply OK with a man. It's OK to be OK. I'm 35, 36. Now I'm ready to be a husband. It's not OK for a woman to be like, now I'm ready to be a wife at 35, 36. It's not OK. There's not a hit the wall for a man, but it is for a woman. It's not a day. Yeah, but the key is that. But the key is right? that. You guys never controlled access to marriage in the first place. So it was never, it was never, it was never incumbent on you guys to be like, you never, you never bared the responsibility, the greatest responsibility of the human race. It all still falls back to us. No matter what, you'll never be as strong as we are. You'll never control that access. You'll never, ever be at the top of the pyramid. What we've seen women do lately, especially over the last 30 years is adapt to what men have allowed them to do. But it's still ours to lose. It's not I, yours I to agree. win. I would also the say the this. Go I ahead, do feel right. like I, I have to disagree. I do feel like men hit the wall because they go through male menopause just like we go through menopause as well. It's just it's something that is not really talked about, but it is a real thing. And I've noticed it in the men in right. my life that, you know, as they age, they get older. Going through male menopause is something that, you know, they go through it like age 45 to 50. And this is something you can look up and look into. Men can have kids forever. Women um, can But when you lose your sex, because male menopause is when you lose your sex drive. So you may not even be able to procreate based off of that alone. So I do feel like men hit the wall. It's just later than us as women because our biological. What is us hitting the wall? What is us hitting the wall? Define us hitting the wall. Uh, I feel like you lose that drive like your testosterone levels are going down you don't have that same drive that you did prior so i feel so you're like you're talking about sexually i mean all the way around like you just you you want to retire like you don't you're not thinking about raising kids and starting a family like you just want to on average men don't even hit their stride especially for earning potential until their late to mid 50s 
I mean, one at a time, one at a time. Are we speaking on marriage or are we speaking on finances? Well, the number one thing that women want is provision and protection. So that comes with finances, right? I don't see any women looking to date younger men unless they're only talking about sexually. Women want to marry, in general, older men because older men generally provide greater provision and protection and security and everything that comes along with being a man. All of the things that women have at the top of their list comes with older men and men at large periods in their lives for the overwhelming majority of us don't even hit our stride until we in our 50s approaching 60s, which is why the sexual marketplace value is so real and that women's stride, especially when it comes to desirability from what men want, is very early to their mid 20s. And men, it keeps going up when women is going down because the things that women want and the things that men want is completely different. But it goes back to what it goes back to what I originally said, where I feel like the concern is mutual. It's just our timelines are different. Our our needs, our wants are different, but it's still on the same timeline. It's just it hits at different points. But I do still feel like men hit the wall. It's just later in life, and it may not match your finances. I'm telling you, we don't have a wall. Yeah, I, I, no, don't have I, think, wall. I think that what I we think don't have Yanni a wall. Is saying, no. I think what Yanni is saying is, and correct me if I'm wrong, is about um, you know, more so not the capability like right. being able to have a child but more so the desire to do certain things at a certain point in life um so yeah i mean men's biological clock like let me tell way you something. longer let me tell you something women's, the, but the older i, don't think that's I get what you're talking about hold on Anton. As married as married as i am the older that i get <laughs> the more women is in my dms let's be very very clear the older that women get, the less desirable they become. That is facts all the way around. It will never. When I hit 50, I'm going to be richer than ever. I'm going to be doper than ever. I'm going to be more well-rounded than ever. I'm going to be more well-traveled. And I will still be more desirable than any woman you know at 50 years old. Wait a minute, Anton. Hold on real quick. Let me ask the ladies a question. Has Ronald Isley hit a wall? <laughs> He's gotten better looking. And that's what happened with men. Men get sex when they age. Drop. <sighs> See, we don't get a wall, bro. We don't. Get don't. I agree. We I get agree. better. We like we're we're literally like wine. We <laughs> as we age, we get greater. We get greater, bro. Yeah, I get. We, we, you know what we are. You know what we really like. We like X Men. Like our powers magnified. <laughs> over that we it's the, it's, the silver, it's the silver beard. It's the wisdom. It's the life experience. It's all of that. Men, I, I just disagree on that fundamental point. Men do not hit a wall as they get older. But does he want to have a family, though? Who? Like, all of those things are great. Like a 60-year-old man. Is he trying to find... It does nothing for me as a woman if he doesn't desire marriage. Because that's what the conversation... Well, here's the thing. It seems I mean, there's, there's, a, there's a bunch of different conversations going on, but by and large... You know, you do see men who get up to a certain age. You know, a lot of them don't want marriage because they've already been married. There is a segment of men who've already been married and they don't want marriage again. But for, and I think it has more to do with what's available in the marketplace, which is why I keep going back to, um, you know, who's raising more concern for not being married. I mean, you know, building off of what Anton was saying earlier. Right. I did want to sneak this in real quick. When we refer to the Bible, we talk about he that finds a wife finds a good thing. The, the, the whole premise is that she's a wife when he finds her. So the concerns that, you know, like the things that Anton was saying earlier that men need to work on, that's not what their, their concerns are. Their concerns are in the marketplace. We're not finding women who are ready to be wives. Right. So these men. That I don't know are, if that's what that means. I don't know if that's what, what that means. What, wait, wait, what mean? The, the Bible verse? I'm saying like, you're saying, Chicago, it sounds like you're saying he who finds a ready-made prepackaged wife, whereas I think Anton is kind of saying that men set the tone for what a woman would do, which I agree with. No, I'm I want to know what Kay's saying. You keep interpreting everybody else. 
I'll hold up, please. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. I wasn't. I wasn't saying that. Anton was raising. Anton was saying what men need what? to work they for. Are, I told you, don't do it. Rilla talking. No. Go ahead, Rilla. <laughs> Anton was saying the qualities that 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 <laughs> makes a man a husband. Husband material. These are the things men should be focused on. He made he made a an exhaustive list. Right. And I said in those conversations that he's having with men, these are the things that he may be drilling down on. But those are not the concerns that they're raising, the concerns that they're raising when they're saying, you know, whether they want to be married or not. And this ties back in into what Yanni is asking about 60 year old men. Men are saying we're not finding women worthy of marrying. That's what I'm saying. We're not finding women who are wives in the marketplace. Can you explain, like, can, can you, you even definition? know that? Can you give a definition of what you consider to be a wife? Maybe that's where we need to start. <laughs> <laughs> so a wife is a woman that is submissive, right? And oh it's and I get it, it's different for everybody's, you know, temperament. They in their relationship and it and it goes different. But here's the deal: the, the wife is submissive, she's supportive, and she's cooperative. Wait a minute, let me stop you there. Yeah. I was about to say something about this. How can you say submissive and supportive if there's not already a structure? Right. Because I'm admitting to we're going down the rabbit hole. We, we about no, to go no, no, we're not. Down. No, no, don't do this. About to go. No, I could I could go. Let's I, I go. Could go with you. Because I'm listen, just saying we're about to go down the rabbit hole. I knew that some I knew you were gonna say that. I knew you were gonna say a wife, a wife is submissive and supportive. My wait, thing is if wait, she's wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, support fundamentally, means not anecdotally, fundamentally. Support, no, hold on, just hold on. Come on. Support means that you are holding something else up, right? right. That means there has to be something else already there. So <laughs> you don't just become I mean, you might have a certain personality type that is more likely to be, you know, a certain way. But in order for a woman to be submissive and supportive of a man, that man has to already have something. So to let, be me, let me help. Let me help you out. Let me help you out with this. Of. Hold on, court, real quick. Let me help you out with this. Maybe this will help y'all a little bit more. When the Bible verse says, "He that finds a wife finds a good thing." The, the premise is that he who is looking is already husband material. Mm, okay. Okay. And that goes back to even when you and Anton were speaking and you was agreeing with everything he said, it's being on your purpose, becoming a man um, that you're supposed to be before you find your wife. So it goes back again to what he said earlier. So then it's like, if you are a man that's on your purpose and you know what's going on and all these things are in place, this is why I answered that men are more concerning because if you have all this in order and you still can't find a wife, that is concerning. I'm telling you, these, these guys are in the, listen, I'm, I'm, I'm yeah, doing the I'm doing the research. I don't think you got it in order either. What'd you say, Courtney? I don't think we're saying that all the men have it in order. No, no. I'm talking about the ones, like, speaking of the ones that do. Like, right. if you have it in order and you're not married and you're 45 and you wish to be married, I'm going to be like, wait, what's going on? Because there are millions of women, literally, <laughs> worldwide, that would throw themselves at your feet. If you can't find one and you are the one who is set in this tone... Then what is that? Yeah, there, well, here's the thing, Kay. This is what I'm finding. They're finding them. They prefer to, to couple up and marry within their race. They're marrying outside of their race. Wait, who prefers to marry? Wait, what? So men control. <laughs> so we're talking about men, right? Yeah. We say men control access to marriage, right? Okay. Relationships and marriage. Women control access to sex. Okay. Yes. Yeah. I'm going to make sure. Okay. So the men that are going into the marketplace to find women that reflect them, that look like them. Hey, I've gotten to the best version of myself. I'm ready to settle down with my Nubian goddess queen, Mother yes. Earth. Yes. Sun goddess. <laughs> right? They're going, there are men. I'm, listen, man, I, I, I'm good. I got mine. But there are gentlemen that are going into the marketplace and saying they not find them. So guess what? They but go who are they looking 
We're ready. And, and are they actually ready? Because are they actually sure. where they need to be? Where I, they Anton ready? was saying, Lord like Anton was saying earlier, Anton mentioned earlier, and I mentioned this on a video of mine, the whole rites of passage thing. Everybody thinks they're ready. Right. Hey, JR, tell, tell ready. Chicago to learn how to control this conversation. Go ahead, Chicago. <laughs> I, I, you know, you're not ready, well, then what? Why would I? You think you're ready, then what? Anti, you better. <laughs> <laughs> I really like what's going on on the panel tonight. <laughs> oh, yeah. We all got a good No, we good. I'd rather. Yeah, it's getting good. It's getting good. Focus, heard. See, here's the difference. I don't need to dominate or control the conversation because I want y'all voices heard because it's a show about perspective. So it's important for y'all's perspective to be heard, just as it's important for mine to be heard. So yeah, Chicago, I like, I like what you're doing. Yeah, I, I yeah. thought you had black on, man. I thought you chose violence. Nah, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to say you. Hey, man. I, I'm a, I, 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 I represent oh. STEM Nation, man. <laughs> oh my God, Chicago. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a beta at best. <laughs> I'm masculine at best, so. All right, go ahead, Yanni. Close us out on this topic. Go ahead. What are you about to say? I'm, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say your point is invalid <laughs> because I feel like it's based off of experiences. But I have to ask, where are these men looking? Because I do feel like they like to look in the wrong places, and that may be why they're getting the results that they're getting. But I feel like there are a lot of women out here that are marriage material, wife material. It just depends on, you know, if, excuse my French, are they going after, you know, the 3D bus? How do you determine? How do you determine if a woman is wife material? What does that look how like? How do I? I feel like it's in the way that she carries herself. I feel like it's nope. in the way that she speaks. I feel like nope. it's in the way that she cares for others, nurtures others, supports people that she claims she loves. I feel like it's in the way that she just moves. But that's not what men are saying. They're, they're nope. not wanting to marry that. It's like what Rilla said. He gave you what a wife is. The problem is we're not listening. We're saying, well, you should like the way that I walk and talk. They don't care. But I feel like any woman, it's it's our nature to want to be those things. But it's a matter mm -hmm. of, is a man giving us the space to be able to be that for him? And that you goes part, this, you partially correct, but I'm going to That goes back to the structure that- Chapter 12 of my new book that I got coming out. Chapter <laughs> I'm going to address it in chapter 12. You partially, <laughs> partially correct, but I'm going to address it in chapter 12. We're going to fix this. 